Hey guys, today we are going to look at the Card Kingdom, the top mythics, top rares, top uncommons, top commons that were sold in 2023 and kind of see if we can make any investment information on it. I'm also going to list out more than just their top 10. I'm going to list their basically what actually sold or what was the most popular. So, Underground Sea, still the most popular rare of all time. Uh, it is a very, very good barometer as to where Magic the Gathering is heading. Um, I always use the buy list. Today, we are going to look at retail, so it's going to be slightly different. The prices will be close to double uh, what the buy list is because overhead, you know, scams, you know, there's a, oh, there's a lot of expenses that go into running an operation like Card Kingdom. Especially now that they are dealing with unions. Their workforce has actually unionized. And they had to make some layoffs. Or as the people who have been left. You know like oh my choice. Whatever you want to say. People have left. Um, this, there is kind of a brain drain over there in Card Kingdom right now. I think they had to move a different location. Because they couldn't afford their previous location. The rent got too high for them. Again, probably not a great sign for the biggest buy list as of now. Um, I will go ahead and tell you that, yeah, Magic is interesting to me. I am still opening packs, having fun playing Magic. We play EDH once a month at the home with some of my really, really close friends. And I would definitely think uh, in terms of what is happening right now, that there is actually maybe opportunity i'm always quite negative uh and the reason i am negative is should be um the reason i am so negative about magic the gathering is the i you know it, it's it's kind of you lose a lot of money you don't want to go back to the uh, hopefully you don't want to go back to the casino and in my opinion what you need to do is you just got to enjoy the game for what the cards you have don't think about it as an investment don't think about it as oh i'm going to store these boxes forever um i think uh in my opinion uh it is quite scary what is out there and it's not always clear that you can make money from this game there is a lot of volatility that being said, you know, I still like commons that are $4. I love Rat Colony. I have a whole stack of them, and they're not rare. They're actually quite common from Dominaria. Uh, we might open some of those boosters. I don't know how much is a Dominaria booster pack now. Uh, it's fun to open these things, guys. Like If you're just going to open it for fun, um, why not, right? Dominaria, is it? Dominaria, it's not Dominaria United. It kept, it keeps trying to give me Dominaria United. But yeah, Ravnica Remastered is on the horizon. Should be an interesting set for sure. Uh, Invade, oh, here's a, an Invasion. Ikoria, Invasion, Mono Horizons 2, Dominaria Remastered. Not much Dominaria. Oh, so a Dominaria box is only 109, English Sealed. That's got to be fun to open and grab a bunch of rats, right? Why not? I mean... Things are really cheap. Original Dominaria is quite cheap. I'm looking behind me. And there's a few, yeah, there's a few booster boxes that I way overpaid for. But it would be fun to break. I think right now is the time to enjoy the hobby. Don't worry about the money. But also don't, like, spend more money on this, right? This is not a, a good scenario. This is not something that you want to spend more money on, guys. This is something that you want to avoid. And be very careful how you budget. Uh, another big thing is that when you have a lot of money already invested in Magic, you might just want to hold right now. That's where I am right now. I just take the L to the face and just hold and see what happens. Uh, these are the uncommons. Library of Alexandra, obviously way ahead. When you talk about Magic and you talk about the future of Magic, I think Chris Cox is going to get fired. I think Cynthia Williams is going to get fired. I think these two individuals, once they're both let go, then we will have a lot more to talk about because then the game can heal, right? Sometimes you need the game 
you need like these really dumb people to operate the game so you can actually appreciate the game for what it is and i am overall you know pretty happy with where magic might be going i think in terms of last year it was pretty much a bloodbath you know everything you bought went down in price this year I do think that the collectible game pieces will have more value and there might be a good time to buy. I'm looking into buying a large 100k collection right now and we're basically down to a five to six thousand dollar difference in perceived value. I obviously have some room to negotiate, um, but I, again, you know, <laughs> this is one of these things. That always gets me, right? When I nickel, when it's not nickels, dimes. We're talking about five, six thousand dollars here on a ninety-two thousand dollar deal, so it is considerable. But man, um, it would be interesting to get this collection. So twenty twenty-four, I do think will be a better year for Magic. I can't imagine it being a worse financial year. To be quite honest with you, that would be quite uh, bizarre, in my opinion. So 2024, probably a much better year for Magic the Gathering. I do think that these cards have the ability to retain value. And they are incredibly cheap at this moment in time. And even beyond being incredibly cheap, there are opportunities. And I like it. You, know, you don't have to say yes. Like The one thing I've learned is you don't need to say yes to the opportunity. You can look at it, you can buy half of it, you don't need to buy all of it. You can just kind of think about the opportunity, think about wh how much money you have, what the cost would be, and make a decision based on theirs. But you will be, at least for me, you will be receiving emails almost every day about this and this. I'm, I'm reading a bunch of emails right now, and it's a lot. Uh, it is a shit ton of emails. One, I'm gonna tell you one, uh, one, two, okay, four, four, okay, so I'm going to tell you the dates. So this is today, 6.55 p.m., 4.08 p.m., um, okay, this is not, this is spam. There's Vetco, yeah, we're going to take my Shiba Inu to Vetco soon, very expensive. Vetco is Petco, but for vets. Uh, 6.52 a.m., somebody sent a list, uh, yesterday at, um, uh, at some time, it's un unknown what time it is. Oh, I, at 10:23 uh, p.m. So that's one. And let's see, that's Petco again. Okay, is any more? Oh, here, here, here it is. Okay, da 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 da. So in the span of a few days, or in the span of two days, I received one, two, three, four, four collections for sale. And they're not bad collections. These are, like I said before, you're seeing alpha and beta come up again. You know, some of, some of these guys got alpha and beta, and that's always very intriguing to me because it's not exactly. Even if they reprint it, I think alpha and beta will have value long term. I don't know. It's interesting. I, so if you have a collection you want me to look at, I'm interested, and I definitely pay way more than the other people online because I'm an idiot, right? Uh, you can talk to anyone. I overpay. Like, what is it? Oh, man, I overpay. Anyway, bye, guys.